Hello, this is a demonstration video showing an example user interaction with the Wings workflow system to run workflows, edit workflows, and access results. In this video, we shall run a workflow which tries to detect Twitter trends and topics with text analytics components. If you would like to get a general overview of the Wings user interface and how to access it, please look up one of our previous videos. You can log in to the Wings installation used in this video by going to the URL shown on screen. If you would like to get an account here, please send me an email on the email address shown on screen. After logging on, you can choose to run workflows, edit workflows or access results from the analysis menu. Before that, however, let's make sure we have the appropriate domain to run. Go to Manage Domain from the Advanced menu, click on Text Analytics in the System Install Domains and import it. After importing it, set it as the default domain by selecting it and clicking on the Set Default button. Now we can choose to run a workflow at this time. On the left, we see the list of workflows in my account for the current domain. I will select the topic Modeling Workflow. We can select datasets from the drop-down list, or we can click on Suggest Data. Similarly, we can click on Suggest Parameters to get some suggested parameter values for the selected datasets. Now that the whole form is filled out, we can go ahead and run the workflow. Press click here to monitor execution to access the results. This is the Access Results interface, which shows all the workflows that have run so far and which are currently running. By clicking on a workflow run, we can see its result data below. We can click on a result dataset to view it. Next, we shall try to upload a dataset that we want to work with. This is a file that contains some tweets about Taco Bell. The file format has a line number and one tweet per line. In order to upload this, we need to open the Manage Data interface. Go to Advanced, Manage Data. Choose the data type on the left called Dataset and then on the right, click on the Upload Files button. Choose the file to upload. Once the file is uploaded, we can select it and set some metadata for it. Remember to click on the Save Metadata button. Now let's create a new workflow to analyze the Twitter topic trends. Choose Analysis, Edit Workflows. This is the Edit Workflows interface. Clicking on the New Template button, we can create a new template. Broadly speaking, we want to run the dataset through some pre-processing and formatting steps, train topic step, and plot topic step. We can drag components from the Components tab on the left to the canvas on the right. Let's add the Feature Generation components first. Reduce to select Best Features based on a percentage parameter. Stop Words to remove certain stop words. and small words to remove small words. Next we add links for inputs and outputs of these components by dragging from one component port to the other. For the inputs, we just drag from the component port out into the canvas.
We can click on the Layout button in order for the system to automatically lay out the workflow in a nice appealing manner. We can also click on the Zoom Out button to make sure the whole workflow fits so as we are adding new components. Next we add in the Format Mallet feature generator. This sets up the appropriate format to be sent to Mallet. Then we add the main topic modeling component called Train Topics. And again, add links for the inputs and outputs. And finally, we can add in the Plot Topics component. And we can do a final layout again. Now we can click on the Elaborate Template button, which goes through the workflow and validates it. It also adds some variable constraints that's information about the data variables in the template, mostly stuff like data types. You can see these constraints in the constraints table above. Finally, save the template so we can now run it. Choose Analysis, Run Workflows. Let us choose a newly created topic modeling and plotting template. Select Taco Bell underscore TXT. Click Suggest Data to get the rest of the input data sets. Click on Suggest Parameters. Note that if you don't like a particular parameter value that's been suggested, you can always change it. Here we are changing the value of percentage to 50. Now that the whole form is filled out, we can go ahead and run the workflow. Let's go to Access Results. We can see that the workflow is in progress. OK, now that the workflow is finished, we can see the results. Click on the distribution output to view the graph. The graph shows the topic probability distribution, and we can see that it has detected various topics as suggested by the probability spikes. This was a demonstration video showing an example user interaction with the Wings workflow system to run workflows, edit workflows, and access results. Thank you.